My name is Alex Mars. I'm an instructor at On The Rise Academy. You're watching dubstep step by step. Let's see the spectrum of the baseline. I usually use the default Ableton Live effect for this spectrum. You can see that different instruments have different timbres. If you listen, you will hear that some instruments have a solid sub-bass part, while others don't have such low frequency. Layering solved this problem, but now you have to prepare everything for this. First, you have to cut all the frequencies below 84 Hz. Pay attention to the equalizer, which should have a steep slope. In my case, I decided to use isotope alloy. I chose high pass brick wall filter with a cutoff frequency of about 83 Hz. This gets a read of low frequency harmonics, which is sub bass. Since all instruments are entirely different in timbre and volume, to get a fat bass, you have to make it sound like one instrument. For this, we need a compressor. In this example, I'll use the same isotope alloy because I'm happy with the sound quality of this compressor. Here I need to choose the threshold and release time. After compression, bass line volume differences disappear, and it sounds like a single instrument. Hey, don't forget, you can watch all the steps and download additional content to this video course for free at ontheriseacademy.com. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one online bespoke session to learn exactly what you want at the pace you are happy with. Thank you for watching and see you on the next step.